Hi, I just want to do a video about some things you can do with your puppy in the first month before you can take them out to training classes because they should get their second vaccine before they go out in public and go to meet other dogs. They could meet safe dogs that you know that have been properly vaccinated, but I would not recommend going to puppy classes or to dog parks or anything like that until they've got at least two vaccines and probably at least a week after their second vaccine. So here's a couple of things you might work on until that time. Here we go. This is Nikita. Come here, Nikita. And what you're going to work on is bonding. So the first thing you're going to work on is you're going to get over top of Nikita or any puppy. I'm going to just get this on the right angle here. It's just not quite right. There we go. You're going to get her lying down. And you're going to get over top of your puppy. And you're just going to massage them. Massage them from head, down their shoulders, and down their paws, touching all their toes. Oh, Nikita's relaxed too much here. <laughs> she should be, some puppies don't like this at all, some puppies love it. So lie down, Nikita, you want her to lie down, you want her to stay lying down, and just keep massaging her. Massage your ears, massage your head, massage your shoulders, massage down the body, lie down, good girl. And she shouldn't get up, and she shouldn't relax that way either. And they should just be comfortable. And then you want to do things like open their mouth, touching their teeth. Come on, sit up, good girl. Checking in their ears. And you say it. You say ear. You say mouth or teeth. You want to touch them, to let them know you can grab their collar. It's not a punishment, it's just something you're going to do. You're going to touch their toes because they're going to have to have their toes groomed for the rest of their life. So you're going to touch every toe and stop being so good for a girl. And then you're going to work down the body to their back legs. You're going to touch their feet at the back. You're going to touch in their belly area. And yes, she loves this. She's a very good dog. You're going to touch both back feet. And normally you keep them facing this way so that they, they have to be sort of submissive. Lie down, please. Keep it down. Good girl. And they should be submissive. So they should be letting you sit on top of them and not fighting you. So she's being a bit silly because she hasn't had this done for a while. I touch her all the time, but we haven't done it this position before. So she's not fighting me, but she's kind of telling me she wants to play. So you just keep on massaging and touching all over her body. Good girl. Another thing you can work on is watch me. So she's, come, come, come. And so when you ask her to watch me, you ask her to look at you. You're going to put your hand to your face with a treat. And then when she looks at you, you give her the treat. And you do this standing up. I'm just sitting down so it's easier to see me. But you say, watch me. And when, and when the puppy's further away, sit. The key to sit. The key to sit. She doesn't want to be good today. Sit. She's in heat, so it's probably not helping. Good girl. Stay. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Hey, now you're making me upset. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Watch me. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And a praise can be a verbal praise, can be a pat, or can be food. An adult dog doesn't need as much food as a puppy. A puppy, you would put the food to your mouth, face, and when they look at you, you put, give them the praise. You give them the treat. And then, eventually, you would put the food out here and say, watch me. And if they watch me, they're not doing it today, are you, girl? Then you'd give her a treat. Because you want her to watch you, not the treat. So, watch me. Good girl. Yes, good girl. Good girl. What's that? Hey, watch me. Nikita, watch me. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. So those are a couple of little things you can work on. Obviously, you're going to work on recall. You want them to come to you as soon as you say their name, and you don't want them to test you on that. So initially inside in a small space like the kitchen or somewhere like that, and then outside, and maybe do it with a leash. So that if they don't recall right away, you give them a little tug, just a little gentle tug on their leash, and then call them again and get them to come.
I hope these are helpful. I hope you guys can get some help out of them and start off that training well before you get to puppy school. Thank you.